one of the toughest parts of quitting alcohol is socializing, especially when alcohol is a big part of your social life. So how do you cut out the booze but keep your friends? I answer this question and more in a video I call How to Socialize Without Alcohol. So a guy by the name of Matt Egan commented on one of my videos and asked me a really good question. Do you have any tips on how to maintain social cohesion with existing friends whilst giving up booze? So in other words, alcohol is the foundation of Matt's social structure. And he wants to know how to continue socializing after giving up booze. First, I want you to think about the game Jenga. Imagine alcohol is one single block and your entire social structure is every other block in the game stacked on top of it. The only way to truly find out how strong the structure is, is to remove alcohol and see what happens. Or just keep playing the game until eventually everything collapses. If you believe that every single one of your social relationships is centered around alcohol, then in my eyes, you have one of three choices. Number one, continue your social life exactly as you have been with alcohol. Number two, continue your social life as exactly as you have been, but remove alcohol. Or number three, remove yourself from any social relationship that involves alcohol. Let me give you my opinion on the outcomes of each one of these options. Number one, if you continue socializing with alcohol, you are basically agreeing to put your life at risk. Alcohol doesn't necessarily ruin lives, but it can. You don't know what's gonna happen in the future if you choose to include alcohol in it, but let's just consider what's happening right now. Right now, you feel like you don't wanna drink anymore, but you are being forced to in order to keep your important relationships. The fact that alcohol has given you an ultimatum, either choose alcohol or nothing, kind of exposes the true colors of alcohol. It gives you a little bit of insight of what your future might be like with alcohol. Alcohol can ruin your life. It can ruin your important relationships and it can steal your time while it holds together your meaningless relationships. Which is why option number two makes a lot of sense. Continuing your social life exactly how you have been, except removing the alcohol from it. And by that, I mean choose to participate exactly how you have been, but just don't drink. When your sports team goes out for drinks, tag along, but order Coke. You go watch the game with your bros, drink water. Catch up with an old friend, go to a pub, but order lemonade. Meeting up with a client from work, go to a strip club and say you're the DD. No matter what you do, you need to know this. Any social relationship where the foundation is alcohol will fail because alcohol is simply not capable of supporting the weight of a meaningful long-term relationship. And the only way to find out if alcohol is the foundation of a relationship is to remove it and see what happens. If your relationship immediately falls apart or slowly deteriorates, then you know that it was most likely based on nothing but the common interest of alcohol. But if your relationship stands strong and continues to thrive, then you know that it's solid and you should definitely make the effort to maintain it. And I get it, it's very difficult to continue doing anything in life sober that you would normally do when you were drinking, especially when everyone around you is drinking. But make sure you keep watching this video all the way to the end because I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do that later on. Continuing social relationships that include alcohol is difficult if you no longer wanna drink, which is why option number three ends up being what a lot of people choose to do removing yourself from social relationships that include alcohol. The prospect of losing important relationships ends up being the reason a lot of people continue drinking longer than they want to. So if you are stuck in a situation where you believe that alcohol is required in order to maintain your important relationships, then you might want to reconsider 
your definition of an important relationship. Important relationships do not need alcohol. Friendships do not need alcohol. Important business relationships do not need alcohol. Anything of value does not need alcohol. If anything, alcohol is more likely to destroy anything of value than it is to create or maintain it. And it's funny to me how alcohol kidnaps what you already own and then tries to sell it back to you at the price of one drink. Alcohol makes you believe that you need alcohol in order to have the things that it stole from you. So if you no longer want to have alcohol in your life, you no longer want it to be around you because you don't have the power to say no, then yeah, cut off your ties to any social relationship that includes alcohol. But I warn you, if you do this, you'll never know which relationships could have been and which ones were meaningless. Because the truth of the situation is, if you are right at the cusp of wanting to quit drinking, right at the cusp of giving up booze, you are probably afraid of telling your friends that you don't want to drink. You are afraid to turn down a beer. You are afraid of being criticized or ostracized. You're afraid of the peer pressure that might come. You're afraid of the repercussions if you don't join in. You don't want to feel like an outcast. But guess what? This is all just an illusion that you've created in your head. You're catastrophizing what will happen to you if you say no to booze. But I guarantee what will actually happen is nowhere near what you think is going to happen. If you are around someone who is drinking and they ask you if you want to drink, all you have to do is say that you don't want to drink. You don't owe anyone an explanation. You are not being weak. You're not being a pussy by choosing not to drink. You just simply don't feel like drinking alcohol at this present moment. And if you express that with confidence, that should be the end of the story. But if you or anyone else thinks that that is for some reason unreasonable or unacceptable, then it's a pretty big red flag on what kind of relationship you have with that person. Think of it this way. If you were out at a restaurant and you ordered steak, but then your friends were like, what? Steak? Why didn't you order a burger? So you're like, I didn't want a burger. I wanted steak. But everyone else is having a burger. So? Who do you think is going to look like an idiot here? I guarantee you saying no to alcohol is going to be much more well received than you think it's going to be. And I also guarantee that you're probably not the only one of your friends or co-workers that doesn't really want to drink anymore. And by choosing not to drink alcohol, you may actually be leading others who feel the same way you do. All of this you would have no idea unless you follow through with your decision not to drink. If you agree with me, please like, subscribe, and don't forget the bell. Also, leave me a comment down below with any suggestions that you may have on how to socialize without alcohol. The bottom line is, if you were worried about quitting alcohol because of how it might affect your social life, my advice is just do a little experiment. Try removing alcohol from your social life and just see what happens. Most likely what will happen is the best thing that you could ever ask for. You will lose meaningless relationships that were fueled by nothing but the common interest of alcohol. And all that will be left are people that actually want to be around you despite what beverage you choose to drink. People who love and respect you for who you are. People who will support you no matter what choices you make in life. And these are the only people that actually fucking matter.